put the label in the some sort of resignation. Therefore, I will be asking you some questions regarding about the Flavian Amphitheater, or also known as the Colosseum. Are you all ready? Yes, ma'am. Let's start. As I mentioned earlier, our lesson for today is all about the Flavian Amphitheater or the Colosseum. So what do you know about its background? Okay, let's see if you do your homework. Yes, Ritardo, can you briefly discuss its background? The model of Flavian Amphitheater, built by the architect Carlo Lucangeli between 790 and 1812. Lucangeli died in 1812, leaving the model unfinished and later completed by his brother-in-law, Paolo Dalbon. Okay, very good. How about, let's say, the important information about the Colosseum? The Colosseum it's a huge auditorium or amphitheater in the center of Rome, Italy. It was built by Emperor Vespasian for successor Titus. Very good! Colosseum is indeed the largest amphitheater built in Rome, Italy. Anyone who wants to add further information? How about... You, Sido. The word amphitheater derived from the Greek word of amphi, which means open from the both sides, and theatron means public places of viewing. The name Colosseum is said to be derived from the giant statue of Nero, called the Colossus of Nero, which earlier stood before the stadium. Very good. Yes, Indana. The Colosseum is an egg-shaped building that is about 620 feet long, 512 feet wide, and 158 feet tall. It covers a vast expanse of 6 acres. And more than 11 million tons of concrete, stone, and bricks were used to erect this massive structure. It has about 80 entrances and large enough to accommodate 50,000 spectators. After we got the information about the background of the Colosseum, let's now see if a research on trivia. Harold Lama, can you tell me some of its trivia? In 847 AD, the southern wall of Colosseum collapsed because of an earthquake. Okay, very good. Yes, Ibayan. The Roman used the Colosseum for gladiator duels and public spectacles such as animal hunts, reenactments of famous battle, maxi battles, execution, and dramas. Very good. How about you, Vargas? Give an additional trivia. The West Exit was called the Gate of Death. This was where the gladiators were carried out of the earth. Okay, what else? Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. Historical data suggests that the games played in the Colosseum for hundreds of years have claimed the lives of about 500,000 people and more than a million wild animals. Very good. What about you, Santa Juana? The gladiatorial fight stopped in 435 CE and the animal hunts by the beginning of 20 CE. Yes, very good. And lastly, yes, Ido. Several popular singers like Elton John, Billy Joel, Paul McCartney, Ray Charles have performed the Colosseum. After we collaborated and discussed your answers, let's see. You chose Flavian Amphitheater among the architectural design. Can you tell me why you chose that architectural design? And explain. Anybody? Yes, Ricardo. We picked the Flavian Amphitheater because it is the tourist spot that you can learn about the world and history of humanity. You will see the beautiful absence in this museum. We will now proceed to letter C. Can you please read the questions and you may answer it? Oksala. 
It is in fact an ovoid a polycentric curve, a curve with more than one center but very approximate to an ellipse. The conic section that can be seen or applied in our architectural design is ellipse. Okay, thank you. Next, do the question and answer it. Lara. The importance of conic section in our architectural design is to generate the curve of the point that always move to the ratio of its distance. Also, to enhance of the beauty of the infrastructure. Abrustosa, tell me about the conic sections. The Colosseum or the Colosseum, originally the amphitheater of Flavium, the largest amphitheater in the world. Located in Rome, Italy, it was built in approximately 7 to 8 years under Domini. It used to be a hug scene of the crime and now it's a historical amazing place that people come from all around the world to just take glimpses of it and from above you can look from its elliptical shape. Nice answer. Anybody wants to add what our Sasa said? Yes, Ibayan, go ahead. They choose as this kind of architectural design to have more population inside the Colosseum. An ellipse is a shape that looks like an oval or a flattened circle. An ellipse is the set of all points in a plane. The sum of whose distance from two fixed points, called the foci, is a constant. Interesting! Colosseum also is where an entertainment venue happens. Gladiator fights, animal hunts. How about the others? Can you tell me some more about the conclusions of the conic sections? Antilles is a special type of circle where both focal points are parallel at the center. This activity will serve us as a guide for knowing about the policy or the pavement of the theater and about a kind of conic section, the ellipse. How about realizations? Retardo and Santa Juana, give an answer. As we nominate a lot of structural design by choosing one to represent our group, Flavin Amphitheater was the one captures ours. We were captivated by the structure's striking appearance and we want to study as much about the Roman Empire's largest amphitheater. And Sambawana? We also figure out that not all shapes without angles are round, just like our chosen structural design. Fabian Colosseum, one of the most well-known Tetra site here, is in Ilya Serta. Okay, lastly, Steve and Kitana, recite. Let's start with Silo. Since it was established where Nero's man-made was kept, the structure had to be cleverly crafted. The water was drained by surrounding valleys of 26 foot of rings, and donut-shaped foundations were laid underneath the outer walls and inner ellipse. And Kitana? This Colosseum is elliptical in form which is much more difficult to create than to a normal one. Although not all formulas can be put or used in our lives, there are still things to pay attention to when it comes to math or number related because there are no such structures if the people who make them don't know how to calculate. Further, the Colosseum is a complex structure that symbolizes ancient Rome's wealth and strength. You are all very good students. It seems like you all do your homework and fully understand our topic. With such, I will be giving you all an extra points for your recitation, as well as for doing your assignments. That's all. Thank you for listening. Class 2.0